Hey guys, welcome back to the new old mom. So welcome to my old moms, welcome to my new moms, welcome to the moms in the middle, <laughs> all the moms. I got something in the mail today. I'm so excited. Well, I didn't get in the mail today. You know how it is with the current situation. You have to let things sit, they have to sanitize. I can't touch anything for 48 hours because I'm a crazy germaphobe. So after I sanitize it, it still has to sit there for 48 hours because I'm not touching it. I don't know where it came from. I don't know who coughed on it. Anyway, let me focus. I got three boxes from Georgia Cyber Academy. You guys know that we're putting the girls into online school at home. They've sent the boxes out from everything that I've been hearing and learning. They are, they have moved towards a much more paperless system so they don't send as many supplies. So I'm excited to see what's in the box. I'm gonna open it up and let's see what I got. So here are the two boxes that the computers came in individually. The printer is in a separate box behind it. Just a heads up, when the boxes come, it will come with the contents of what's inside of it plastered all over the outside of the box. So I would not suggest leaving these boxes on your porch or outside for too long because as you can see, it says it comes from Georgia Cyber Academy, but also on the sides, it says MacBook. And not MacBook, Chromebook. <laughs> Wish it was a MacBook. So it says contents Chromebook stamped on the sides and in big letters. So anyone seeing it on your porch will know what it is. So here we go, opening it up. Like I said, each box had one charger and one computer along with the carry case. This is the printer that was pretty quick. It's a brand new printer that they sent me. I don't know if they send everyone a brand new printer, but we got a brand new one, which was great. We know that the computers definitely were not brand new. This is the paperwork that comes with it. A few quick instructions and also the limited warranty that came with the printer. And they also send two cute refrigerator magnets with their logo. We are champions. So I thought those were nice. The carry cases are nice. They send them in black, which is gonna be good for any type of scuffs. It's sturdy. It's kind of made out of the mouse pad material. They are waterproof, which is good for kids, and so they're pretty durable. I liked it. Getting started, you're gonna open up the Chromebook, connect it to your Wi-Fi, and then from there, you're going to set up your Google account. Don't worry if you don't have great Wi-Fi, you can also request to have a hotspot sent to you, which is something that would be beneficial to anyone with shoddy internet. So that Google account, you're gonna get an email that let you know who your liaison contact person is at GCA and in that email it's going to give a lot of other sensitive information that I'm not trying to show but it gives the student's email address which you're going to put in there and once you put it in your computer is set up and it takes you straight to Microsoft this home page after that you can go to accounts.google.com and you will see that you are already set up because you previously entered that email address when you first turned on the computer after going to Google, you're gonna to go to Canvas, which is gonna be the main place that you're gonna always be in for your student, accept their user agreement, and then you're gonna read your welcome notifications. And speaking of notifications, that's the first thing you really should do. You should set up your notifications and how you would like to be notified and how regularly you would like to be notified. So you will see after you go to your dashboard on the left-hand side, which <laughs> I'm not showing because again, it has the student information over there, but you click notification preferences and you can set your preferences to either, you see the check mark says notify me right away, send daily summary, send a weekly, or you can even put do not send any information at all. And so it's every type of communication you're gonna get from GCA, you can set how you'd like to be contacted. So that's actually all I've gotten so far. I spoke to my liaison at GCA and she said that that's really all people are getting this year. It's been a change. They used to be a K-12 program. Now they're under their own curriculum. So they don't send everything that they used to send with the K-12 boxes, which I was kind of bummed about because they, I saw a bunch of unboxing and they had like a bunch of supplies. But my liaison did tell me that even though everything is online and they're really pushing towards paperless, once you're, if your children are enrolled in any type of art classes, they will get a box of art supplies. So that's cool because it will be one less expense for us parents. 
we will be enrolling both of our girls in art classes so we look forward to seeing what boxes we get with that they have a lot going on right now as you guys obviously can tell everybody does they are doing some more planning meetings and sessions the end of this month july and so after that they will be able to really finalize which classes people are going into and then people who've chosen like art classes and things like that will get extra boxes and so when I get an extra box, if I get an extra box, I will let you guys know. Happy learning. Let's get to it.